I had recently bought the K8055 USB experiment interface board from Radio Shack. It is created by Velman Kit. Their website is velmanusa.com. It's a little fuzzy here. It is spelled V E L L E M A N. That's how they spell Velman. I have it right here assembled, soldered together, and the USB cable plugged in. Uh, all the parts are right here. I currently have the SK2 and SK3 jumpers set so instead of reading analog in it's going to read off of these off of the internal 5 volt uh, 5 voltage for analog input and it's controlled by these two potentiometers right here in the middle uh, it's uh, eight digital outs two analog outs and two pulsed with modulation out along with the analog five digital inputs these two uh, buttons up here also affect uh, two different counters which is stored as a 16-bit um, I think it was uh, un I think it was an unsigned 16-bit integer. So let's just plug this thing in. And I created a an interface for this that runs on Android. Uh, it, it's required to be Android, at least Android 3.1. It uses the USB hardware uh, libraries found on Android. And which is found on uh, some Android tablets. Uh, this one right here happens to be the Acer Icona A500. This is what it looks like from the back. Here it is from the front. It has, the important thing is that it has a USB host USB host is the long rectangular, not the little short one. Got to remember that. So let's plug this in. USB cable. There it is. Now it turns on. It's over here. Let's see if I can get some better lighting. Down a little bit over here. There's the light for it. Okay, now we are going to bring up apps demo. Here's the current interface for it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can uh, you can download download this off the Android Market website. First thing we want to do, find the devices. Uh, it is currently listed as device 3. Uh, it is device 3 because there are two jumpers, SK5 and SK6 right here. SK5 is on, SK6 is off. And so that causes it to be addressed as device number three. A um, total of four devices can be connect, connected to one USB bus. So your so a USB host is limited to four of these boards put together if you have some sort of hobby that's going to be using them. Okay back to the interface we have device three. We're going to Select device three. Come on over here. Connect. We need permission to run because it is an external device. Hit OK. Connecting. Alert dialog. 
And just to show things a little bit faster, we're going to set polling time. The minimum polling time is 20, which is based on 20 milliseconds. Uh, the 20 millisecond turnaround time is found on the front of the front of the package. It's some sort of performance thing uh, based on the chip. I think it has to do with the with the clock on the board itself. Okay, so we're going to set the polling time to 20. This is going to cause the monitoring thread to constantly read the read the status of the board constantly. Now there are two bars right here. These two are the analog in. This is the A1. This is the A2. This is the analog out. This is also the analog out. We have the five inputs right here. If you watch this, we can flat. You hear that little clicking that is from the input. It's button two, three, five. You can hit a couple of these all at once. Now that there is also there's also two count two 16-bit integer counters. Counter one is set at fifty is currently at fifteen. We can increment this up some. It is now at forty-three. And uh, the counter is being read directly off the board. This is not being stored in, in the application. The application is constantly checking the board to see what the counter is. We can send a command to the board to reset the counter if we want to. Set it to zero. Counter two is currently at seven. We can whee, increase this some. We can reset it. Now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, if you saw some jittering there, we can turn this off. We're going to turn for pulse off. That way the screen's not going to look like it's jittering. We currently have all the input outputs turned on. That makes it do this so we can do random stuff. Turn this on. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And we also have the usual buttons, clear all digital, set all digital, oh. set all digital, clear all digital, set analog, clear analog, um, DIC1, gives a slider, sells this, turn it all the way down, turn this all the way down, if you watch this, we can turn that one off, turn this one off, turn this. The higher it is, the brighter the, the LED. Turn this one on, brighten it up. Go down, up, down, up, down. As much as you want. Turn on two of them. And, oh yes, the analog input. You can set that based on based on the two potentiometers right here we can just need the screwdriver we can dial this up go down and go up just like that it's being read directly off the board up down up down and all that sort of stuff uh, so if you have any projects or hobbies that you want to try to use this for you can uh, or at least get an idea of of uh, something uh, that's that's Android based that's connected connected to these boards, uh, you can use this application to give you um, at least an idea or a demonstration that it can be done with Android. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, donations are appreciated if you if you want to send me money. So, okay, bye.